This tutorial is how to use digital audio resources in ProPresenter 6. To get to the resources, move to the toolbar at the top. You'll see a purple circle with a music symbol. You click on it, it will open your audio bin, which will always open on the right. So I'll click on this with my left mouse button, and I have my audio resources available on the right. When we look at this, we find there are two sections. The top section is a group of playlists, not unlike the playlists in the lower left corner of your screen. It comes with default. I've added offering music, post-service music, next Sunday, this Sunday. To add another one, you simply click on the plus key, choose new playlist, and then give it a name. I could call this one um, Amazing Songs. Anything you want. And when you click on the top on the playlist, you will see what it contains at the bottom. Now, most of these are empty right now, if you notice. If I click on default, I have one song I have put in my default folder. Let me show you how to add others. The, what you need to do if you want to add songs that you own, uh, that you have access to, all you need to do is go into the lower box and click on the plus key in the lower plus symbol in the lower left side and then it will take you to your file menu system and you can navigate wherever you want let me add uh, shine on us I'll click on open and now this is also added to my default music playlist let me try another one I'll click the plus again let's go um, wonderful merciful savior and add that one now all these are now in my default folder. If I'm building a presentation, a music uh, arrangement I want to do, maybe for, call it this Sunday, I can simply click on my default folder and drag and copy to this Sunday. And I'll drag the other one up and copy it to this Sunday. Or I can bring it in directly by clicking on this Sunday and clicking the plus and it will go out and look for my resources. But right now for this Sunday I have shine on us whoops twice. <laughs> well to remove it I'll right click and do remove from playlist. Let me take another one from default. Let's do blessed be your name and drag that to this Sunday. And um, let me do wonderful merciful savior and drag it. Okay, so on this Sunday, I have three songs. I can use these for pre-service music, offering music, or maybe post-service music. Now, there's another feature you see, an icon to the right of each song. That tells you how the song will play. Let me explain that. If I right-click on any song and choose Playback Behavior, it gives me three options. Loop, Next, and Stop. When I bring them in, the default is stop, which means you have an arrow going up against a line. That means that the song will play. When it's done, it will stop. It will ignore anything else in the list. It will not move to the next song. If I click next, you notice now this changes to an arrow. And in this case, what will happen is shine on us will play. And when it finishes, it will move to blessed be your name and which is uh, now says it will stop and it will ignore the third song. The other option you have, if I right click and do playback behavior, is loop. If I do loop, I get the curly arrow, which means this song will play, but then it will repeat, 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 and ignore anything else in the list. Normally, if you want any of your songs to be playing uh, and moving from one to the next, you'll right click, Choose behavior and just do next. So the way I have this ordered now, it starts with shine on us. When it's done, it moves to blessed be your name. When that's done, it moves to wonderful, merciful savior. Now you notice I have the, an option of sorting here. I can sort this manually. And when I do that, that means I can drag and drop any song anywhere I want on the entire playlist. So this is how I'm controlling the This Sunday playlist. If I click the sort and go by name, it will automatically sort alphabetically by name. 
if I click again, I can sort by artist, Matt Redman, Phillips Craig and Dean, and Phillips Craig and Dean. Or I can also sort by duration from the shortest to the longest. Maximum flexibility is switching it to manual. Now right now, this is set to play, and this is set to play and stop. Well, I'll right click, choose playback behavior, and simply go next. That's probably the most common um, behavior you will choose if you have a group of songs you want to play before, during, or after your presentation. To play a song, all you need to do is click on it. I'll click on this briefly. And it starts, and you have a pause button up here. You have a duration button. You have a time remaining. You have a level. I'll stop it. The other way to stop a song besides clicking up here is you can click up here on the audio, clear audio, and that will stop the song. Now let, let's see if we do get the moving from one song into another. I'll take the song, we'll move it down to uh, four seconds left to play, and that should switch to Wonderful Merciful Savior when it's done. Did. It was fading out. You couldn't hear the first song. Let's drag this to the end of Wonderful Merciful Savior and see if it will move to Blessed Be Your Name. And the song begins to fade in. Now you can control the transition between songs using this timer here. This adjusts the duration of the transition. You can change it to less than one second. It can be almost simultaneous. Or you can drag the little bar um, one, one way or another and change it to whatever you want to do for transition. So if I want to play a group of songs and I have them all set to go to next, all I have to do is click on the first one and I'm done. And if something else happens and it's time to move on before the song is finished, I can either click on the pause button here or I can click on the clear audio button and that will turn the audio off to the house. So it's an easy way to create various playlists. I like offering music, post-service music. You can populate them any way you want, customize them for any Sunday or any presentation time and uh, play music on Directium just by having this panel open. There's another way you can also incorporate music. You can drag one song to one slide at a time. Let's assume I'm going to click over here in my presentation. This is a slide thanking people for their financial generosity to the church. If I simply want to have a song automatically play when that slide appears, here's what I can do. I can take any song from any bin here and I can drag it and drop it on the slide. And now I have the music symbol. And so I'm going to clear my slide. I don't necessarily need this window open, so I'll close it. And if I click on this slide, the music should come up and the music is playing. clicking on the clear audio button and it will fade out. Now, the one thing you have to be careful of is if you are using this, say, in an offering, the slide should be longer than the offering or you'll have to put another slide to click on on the next slide that you might want to duplicate this. Now, if you want to turn this slide off, there's two options. You can use the cue palette to stop the music from playing if you don't want to click up here on the toolbar. Uh, I can use a blank slide. I could use the first slide in the next song series. So let's do this. Let's click right click on this slide. We'll click on add cue. I do a clear action cue. Unfortunately, it showed to the left so you can't see it. But it, there's an option called clear audio. And you have the same symbol with a black X in it. So what ought to happen is when I click here, the audio will play. And whenever I'm ready for the next song, if the audio is still playing, I will click here and it will stop. Let me clear the slide and we'll try that. 
I click here and you should see the audio come up okay and the audio is playing let's assume we've gone through a couple of verses or choruses now I click on this slide here and it begins my next song and it also shuts the audio off so those are two ways in which you can stop the audio you can click on the toolbar or you can use a cue that says turn this audio off nice feature of integrating audio in pro presenter 6 thank you we trust you found this exercise about using digital audio files inside of ProPresenter 6 to be useful for you. If indeed you have, we'd like to ask you to like us and subscribe to The Sharper Turtle. Thank you.